Hello there, in this video, we will see overview of this home automation and IoT related small device. RF based wireless relay board. So, you can see here this is the board, which includes 4 SPDT relays and 433 MHz RF trans receiver module. This is the RF remote control, which is used to operate or control this relay board. This device is very useful in some RC controlled automation applications. There are different variants available in market according to number of relay channels. Like 1 channel, 2 channel, 4 and 8 channels boards, etc. So, without any delays, let's see unboxing and features of this device. If you want to purchase this device, then links are given in description of this video. In the packaging, they have given one instruction page as operating manual, in which instructions to operate and connection information is explained in brief. Also, in that note, connection diagrams for AC and DC loads are given with different modes of operation. These are four SPDT relays. This is small wired antenna of this 433 MHz RF module. Here is the push button, which is used to program this module in different modes, like on-off operating, switching modes, etc. Here are the screwed terminals given to connect the load points. You can connect different AC or DC appliances here, like fan, heater, TV, light bulb, etc. Now, let's see wiring diagrams which they have given an instruction manual. Here are the AC and DC wiring diagrams. This wireless RF relay board requires 12 volts DC power to operate. We are going to implement DC part. Let's see that in detail. Here is the schematics which we are going to build. These are 4 SPDT relays. This is small wired antenna of this 433 MHz RF module. This is programming button. For DC mode of operation. You can connect external power supply like this, as we have connected 5 volts for these LEDs. We can switch and control these LEDs using this RF remote control. So, like that, we can control any appliances connected to these relays, like fan, light bulb, motor, etc in AC or DC configuration. This was all about schematics. For the remote control of this board, on the back side, here is the screw to open the compartment where you need to install small battery cell to power this remote. Usually they include the remote's battery in this package. This RF-based module requires 12 volts DC power supply. We will use this DC adapter of 12 volts, 2 amperes. Okay, let's see fully assembled circuit. According to connection diagram which they have given an operating manual. Here, you can connect AC loads or devices like fan, bulb, television, heater etc. To power these LEDs, we have used separate 5 volts power supply from power bank 
since we cannot utilize 12 volts for LEDs. But for the sake of this demo, we will select DC mode of operation. And that's why we have used these LEDs to simulate different types of DC loads. Okay, this is all of it. Now, let's see the demo of how this module operate. So, you can use the program button, press it certain number of times, as per given an instruction manual. To enter into particular mode of operation. There are eight modes of operations, like, jog function, interlocking function, self-locking function, etc. You have to press the program button specific times, to enter in that particular mode of operation. The red colored LED beside this button, will show programming status. This device is very useful and handy when we want to implement small wireless remote control system. The wireless operating range of this remote is up to 30 meters. It can even operate through small walls or partitions. We have tested it in 70 square feet of shop floor successfully. Use it as per your requirement.